Hey everyone and welcome to the club. Today I'm going to be showing you how to draw Iron Man from the Avengers Infinity War. Let's get started in the center of our page with that curve that goes above the top of the eyes. So we're going to start on the left side, we're going to draw a curve that comes down and then back up on the right. And from the end, we want to draw two short lines that come down the side of the eye. Now we're going to move in and draw the inside edge of the eyes. We're going to leave a gap in the center. On the left side, we're going to draw that same length line coming down. We'll do the same thing on the right. Now let's connect these two points with a curve. Starting from the outside, we'll curve down and then in. Go to the right side and curve out and then up. Now we're going to take the top corners of the eye and extend the line going up. So we'll start on the left, we'll extend this going straight up towards the top, do the same thing on the right side to the same height. Now let's take these two points, angle up and in. Go to right about there, line this up on the right, angle down and out. Now we're going to take the inside and draw two short lines coming down and in. Come down to right about there. Now I'm going to connect these two points with a curve, just matching the curve of the brow. Starting from the left, we'll curve down and then up. Now let's draw the lower part of the mask. Starting from the bottom corner of the eye, we'll draw an angle line coming down and in on both sides. Now I'm going to curve in and then down towards the chin. So let's start on the left. Curve in and we'll pull that down towards the chin. Let's go to the right and go in the opposite direction, curving in then down. Now we're going to connect these two points with a straight line. Now from the bottom corner of the chin, we're going to draw two angle lines going up and out towards the jaw. So let's start on the left. Go up and then out with a straight line. Go to the right and we'll do the same thing. Now from here we're going to move back up and draw on the side of the head. So from this point, we're going to step out. Start by coming down. Now I'm going to curve that in towards the bottom corner of the jaw. Let's do the same thing on the right. So from this point, we're going to step out, start by coming straight down, and then we'll curve that in towards the bottom of the jaw. Now let's go back up and draw on the top of the head. We're going to take this point, we're going to round out that corner, curve up towards the top center of the head, and we're just going to bring that back down on the right side. Now we're going to go to the left corner here, we're going to curve in and then down. And we'll do the same thing on the right. Now we're going to draw on that bottom of the chin. From this line, we're going to step up, draw another straight line going across. Now from the end, I'm going to angle down and out towards the chin. Now we're going to move up and draw on the mouth, drawing another straight line going across. Now from the ends, I'm going to draw a short line coming down and out on both sides. Now we're going to go up and out towards this curve. Now from this point in the cheek, I'm going to start by coming straight down and curving in towards the corner of the mouth. Do the same thing on the right. Come down and curve in. Now I'm going to fill those areas in black. Now that we complete the head, let's work our way down the body. From the left side of the chin, we're going to step out, we're going to curve out, and then down towards the hip on the left, go to the right, and do the same thing. And then from the hip, we're going to draw two short angle lines coming down and in. And then we'll close off the center with a straight line. Now we're going to move up and draw on the edge of the collar. Starting from the left, we're going to curve down and in. We're going to leave a gap in the center and do the same thing on the right side. Now from the inside, we're going to draw two angled lines coming down and in towards the middle and leaving a gap in the center. Then we'll close off the inside with a straight line. Now we're going to add in that center chest piece. From the left corner here, we're going to step up, angle down and out on the left and right. Now we're going to come down and in towards the middle, and then 
then we'll close off the bottom with a straight line. Now we're going to add some detail to the body. From this line, we're going to step down, start with a straight line going across. We're going to go up in an angle on both sides. Now we're going to go out with a straight line towards the side of the body. Let's do that one more time. We step down, start with a straight line going across, go up on the sides, and then we'll go straight out. Now we're gonna connect these two points with an angled line going up and in on both sides. Now from here, we're gonna step out and draw an angled line going up towards the corner of the body. Now I just wanna trace these areas out on the inside. So just leaving an even space gap all the way around. continue working down the legs. In the center, we're going to step down and draw a short line going across from left to right. Now from the left side, I'm going to curve out and up towards this point. And we'll do the same thing on the right, going out and then up. Now from the top of this line, we're going to step in, curve down and in towards that bottom corner. Let's go back to the left side. We're going to draw on the inside of the left leg out and then down towards the heel and do the same thing on the right side. Now we're going to round out the bottom of the feet. From the heel, we're going to curve down and up towards the toe and we'll do the same thing on the right. Now let's draw on the top of the foot. Starting from the toe, we're going to curve up and we're going to pull that down aiming towards the heel. We're going to stop right about there. Now we're going to angle up and in towards the inside of the leg. Let's do the same thing on the right. Start by curving up to the top of the foot and then curving down, aiming towards the heel. Now we're going to angle up and in. Now I'm going to move back up to the hip and draw on the outside of the leg. Starting from the left hip, we're going to curve out and we're going to pull that in towards the top of the foot. Now we're going to thicken up the sole. Taking this curve, we're just going to draw the same curve just up on top on the left and right side. Now we want to trace this out just up above. So we step up, just follow that same curve coming in, and then going up in an angle. Just above the top of the foot, we're going to draw three curves going across the leg. Starting from the left, we're going to curve down and up. Let's do the same thing on the right side. Now we're going to draw two more curves just up above. Just follow that same curve from left to right. Now we're going to move back up to the top here. We're going to curve across, going up and then down. And then go straight down on top of that curve. Let's do the same thing on the right. Lining this up, going up and then back down. And then going straight down. Now we're going to go back to the left side. I'm going to follow that same curve just in the inside, leaving a gap. Now from this point, I want to angle down towards that bottom point. So it tapers all the way down. Let's do the same thing on the right. Curving across and angling down. Now we're going to move up and draw on the shoulders. From the corner of the jaw, we're going to step in. Start by coming down and then curving in towards the side of the body. Let's do the same thing on the right side. Now back over to the left side, we're going to have him pointing his blaster forward. So we start with a circle for the front edge of the blaster. Starting up here, we're going to draw a circle. Going around to the bottom, and then back up towards the top. Now I just want to trace this out on the inside. Starting from the top, and leave an even space gap all the way around. Now we're going to draw the inside edge of the blaster. Starting from the top, we're going to curve in, almost like drawing a half oval. Now I'm just going to pull that back in towards the bottom of the circle, curving it back out. Now in the center, we're just going to draw a seam from left to right, going straight across. Now we're going to draw on the top and bottom of the arm. Starting from the shoulder, we're going to curve across and then down. Now let's go to the bottom of the shoulder, we're curving the opposite direction. We're going to go across 
and then up. Now we're gonna add a seam across the arm. Starting from the edge of the blaster, we're gonna step in, just follow that same curve all the way down towards the bottom. Now we're gonna move over to the right side. Now this arm is gonna be bent, so let's start at the top of the shoulder, curve out, and then down towards the elbow. Now we're gonna curve down and up towards the wrist. Come down and up. Now from the wrist, we're gonna draw on the thumb. We're gonna start by curving up towards the top of the thumb, come straight down towards the tip of the thumb. Now we're just gonna hook that back up. Let's draw on the palm. From here, we're gonna curve down and then in. Now we're gonna stack three fingers in behind the thumb. Starting up here, we're gonna draw a half oval going out and back in behind the thumb. Now at the bottom of this finger, we're gonna curve out again, in and then up underneath the thumb. We'll do that one more time. Now let's go back up to the wrist. We're gonna draw the edge of the cuff. Curve around the palm. Now I'm just gonna pull this up underneath the bottom finger. Now we're gonna draw on the bottom of the arm. Starting from the bottom of the hand, we're gonna curve down and then up in behind the body. Now from the inside of the elbow, I wanna draw the forearm, curving in and then down. Now from that same point, we're gonna curve in the opposite direction. Curve down and then up underneath the shoulder. Let's trim out the upper arm and take this curve and just duplicate it right up above. Now we're gonna go to the center point of the wrist we're gonna curve across and then up towards the elbow. Let's trace this out just up above. Just curving across. Now back at the wrist, we're gonna go across again. Now we're gonna pull this down towards the bottom of the forearm. Now the last thing we're gonna do is add two wings coming up along the side of the body. So we're gonna start on the side of the arm here, go up in an angle, do the same thing on the right. Just underneath the jaw, we're gonna go up to the same height. Now we're gonna go straight across with a short line. Now pull, let's pull that in behind the arm. Starting from here, we're, we're gonna taper down. So it gets a little bit wider as we come down on both sides. I'm gonna add a trim on the outside. Taking this line, stepping in, we're just gonna trace that on the outside. I'm gonna do the same thing on the right. And that's pretty much it. There we have it. There's Iron Man from the Avengers Infinity War. I hope you enjoyed today's lesson. Make sure you subscribe and send me your requests in the comments below. Thanks for watching and we'll see you again soon.